Hey y'all, this is just going to be a short video on uh, transferring over from the stock Mosin look over to the ATI synthetic stock. Um, just to show you how quick and easy it is. Um, and this is everything included. It's got the sling, the bayonet. Um, as you can see the bayonet, I don't have a lot of room for it. but uh, Here goes. I'm just going to take the bayonet off first. And really, to uh, do what you need to do, you only have to take uh, the front part of the sling off. You don't have to take the what they call the dog collar off of the back. Um, <clears throat> and this is really just to get the uh, the rings off. Pull out the cleaning rod. probably don't like this, but it's not that big a deal unless you're really trying to hone in your sights. So there's the front sight. There's the front ring. There we go. There's the rear ring and be careful not to get them confused. One is larger than the other. Um, you probably can't tell in the video. Um, but the larger one goes to the rear and if you try to put the smaller one in on first it'll really scratch up your uh, hand guard. So there's the hand guard gone. And after that is when it starts getting extremely easy. Move the bolt. bottom screw, you can pull the magazine out, and lift off the furniture. Now that's out. Let's put it over here out of the way. <coughs> now with the ATI stock, it's everything just back together the way it goes in the wooden furniture. Always try to get both of these really, you know, not completely snug, but kind of the same principle as putting lug nuts on a car. You kind of switch back and forth. You don't want to tighten one down completely. that easily um, and it's just that easy to do it in reverse and it may be a little bit more complicated if you had to scope or some other accessories but I don't know just a couple of minutes and you can go from the original look over to uh, the sporty look and there you go um, and for those of you I have seen some videos where people are saying that there's no real safety on a Mosin, which is crazy. I don't know what would make someone think that, but um, on a Mosin, to set the safety, all you do is pull back on this. It's basically a, a safety device here. Turn it over to the side a little bit, and you're good to go. No firing, no nothing. Um, and, you know, to let it go, you just do that in reverse and let it go. So 
like I said, just a quick video on um, taking it out of the wooden furniture, the stock furniture, and putting it in an ATI scope or a, a ATI um, stock. As long as you've done all your work on your stock, um, they say these things are a drop in. Uh, they're not. Um, right in here, you will have to do some Dremel work uh, to get all the action to work properly, but. I don't know, maybe 30 minutes with a Dremel tool and you're ready to go. Um, so it's pretty easy work, pretty easy to do. Again, the Mosin is an awesome gun. Um, and it's awesome to get started on just messing with rifles. Um, if you're just getting into rifles um, or guns, period, and you just want to get your feet wet, just taking something apart, being able to clean it properly and put it back together. This is the gun for you. You can pick one of these up for a hundred bucks um, with the original furniture. Um, a stock like this is probably fifty bucks extra, but for a hundred bucks, you know, you can play with it, take it apart, clean it, put it back together. And if you shoot, uh, well, these are not so bad. I'm not really sure of the brand that I got on these uh, but if you use these the surplus bullets you're gonna have to clean this gun every time you use it um, there's no using it and setting it up um, so you need to learn how to take it apart and I suggest just do it just take it apart um, put it together take it apart put it back together and keep doing it so you get faster with it quicker with it you can clean it and it'll help you out in the long run. This gun's awesome and easy to do it with uh, for a starter. Uh, it'll give you a good boost in ego when it comes to working on guns. And, you know, from there, you can go on to other places like ARs and really start getting complicated. So, anyway, just a small little uh, video. And I did say I would update the refinishing on... Uh, my stock and maybe you can't see that in the video um, I have got it finished uh, I didn't get crazy with it uh, I kind of left a lot of the impressions on it but I went back with a uh, Minwex mm, early American and just a satin um, so it's got a little bit of a sheen to it but not bad I polished up all the little parts took everything off just cleaned it all up real good so it's done and it's fine so we'll get some more videos out pretty soon I'm going to do a um, review on the Ridgeback rack that I received recently thanks to Ebami um, or Eric I wish I've heard people call him, so I guess that's his name. I don't know him personally, but I'm taking it that's his name. So uh, I'm going to do a review on that Ridgeback rack for uh, my oldest son's 22. Um, it's really awesome, and uh, the contest was uh, the contest was meant for one winner, and Jeremy at Ridgeback Racks, uh, being the stand-up guy that he is. Um, he decided to add five more winners to the contest, a total of six out of, I don't know, 75 or 80. And there were five of us uh, total extra that they drawed that had entered the contest for a child or, you know, their child, their son or daughter. I happened to be one of them. Uh, did it for my son for his 22 that my grandpa gave to me and you know I'm going to pass on down to him um, he's been wanting it in his room and wants to have it you know somewhere other than here in my office um, in the man cave um, and I've been real hesitant about it because you know at 10 years old he doesn't need to have a, a live fire weapon in his room uh, and Ridgeback Racks makes this possible um, you know, I didn't expect anything out of the contest, but uh, like I said, they give all five of us that had entered for a child 
um, a Ridgeback rack, uh, as well as the one winner. So, um, you know, for that one contest, Jeremy give out six free racks, which is a lot. Um, I'm going to actually have him make me one for um, for the same gun. I'm going to make two. I'm going to do one for the Sporter style and one for the stock Mosin style. Um, I'm getting ready to buy two of the Mossberg um, tactical 22s that are very similar to the AR in looks, um, but it uses a 22 long rifle. I'm going to buy me one and my son one, and uh, I'm going to buy racks for those, so, um, you know, going to give him some business. You know, he gave me a free rack, so I'm going to give him some business, and, you know, I suggest everyone else that loves guns, um, likes having guns, likes displaying guns, do the same thing. Look them up. Um, it's Ridgeback Racks. They're on YouTube. Um, it's an excellent product, and they're just excellent people. Um, I would refer them to anybody. You know, if you've just got just an old, an old hundred dollar clunker like this, <coughs> or if you've got you know a thousand dollar, you know, eighteen ninety something Winchester, I don't know. Um, I ridge back rack is the way to display it. I'll give you a quick peek at it. Um, I'm not going to do the whole review, but I will uh, let you take a look at it. Um, just to give you an idea, that is the 22 that I won uh, the contest with, and it's going to be my son's. Uh, my grandpa gave it to me again, but it is hanging on the wall on the Ridgeback rack, uh, and I've just got it basically, you know, over here at my computer, uh, just for the heck of it. Um, we're doing some painting and some rearranging in his room right now, so it's not going up there yet but uh, it's there and it is awesome it's quarter inch plate steel but anyway I'm not gonna get into it I'll get into that in another video um, yeah I hope you guys take a look at it uh, and give me any suggestions you have thanks